Um, we, you know, one of the, as Phil's coming on, yeah. you know, cloud is one of the major topics of, of even here at, it, at Dell Storage Forum. So it we is can talk a lot about that. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear what he's uh, what he has to say about cloud, but I also. I'm interested in this whole uh, concept of fluid data, which Compellent's right. been talking about for a long time, and sort of how that expands into the rest of the Dell portfolio. Yeah, so that exactly. was sort of a Compellent um, uh, topic, and then we'll, yeah. so we'll, 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 we'll see what he's got to say. So he was <laughs> just up. He's, up, he's over there looking at us now, so maybe I we can- I think he knows he's maybe, coming. Maybe so for those of him. you just joining us, this we are at the Dell Storage Forum. This is John MacArthur. And we are about to bring on Phil Soren. He's the president of Dell Compellent. So come on over, Phil. Yeah, Phil, great to have you here. I'm really glad you. I'm really glad you could We've make it. We've been talking this is you is, up. Yeah, we have. Uh oh. So, well, <laughs> what'd you say? I gotta find this out here. You just this got out from a keynote. Do you get paid to do this? I, no, this is free. You know, we get we, paid we in make, cookies. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be good here. So, how's it going? Going great. Did you enjoy great. The, the keynotes and everything? Yeah, well, we, you guys we were, were doing here. We were here, so we want to know what you said. We want to know what you said. Yeah, we talked, uh, actually it was kind of a fun event here. We uh, First of all, I got to thank some of our customers that uh, have been with us for 10 years and oh, some okay. of the business partners who bet okay. their business uh, on us. And it, not quite 10 years, but yeah, that, well. that, that was really impressive. And actually, one of our business partners got up and thanked us at the end. That was real neat. Oh, uh, wow. Actually, kind of emotional for me. But uh, they, uh, I'll tell you, what, kind of what I tried to talk about is how we innovated a compellent. Yeah. And how we're going to keep innovating uh, under Dell and not lose that innovation, which is hard. You know, you got to when you're smaller, it's easier to innovate. So how do you keep that going? And and, and how I, do you? Yeah, well, well I'll tell you that, <laughs> one of the biggest things we did at Compellent was uh, we formed a thing called the C3, the Compellent Customer Council. Right. And we formed it before we had a product. Yeah, and, I, um, I actually came to one you of your came, first. You spoke to one. I spoke That's to right. one of your you, first. I the second, second meeting we had. I came to the second came, one. Yeah. You didn't invite me to the first, but I got to the second one. Oh, Alex. I hear a little bitterness there. It was good. It was good. And it's, uh, so it was really neat because uh, well, when we started the company, we got a lot of press and coverage. And so a lot of people called and said, we want to know what you're doing and we'd like to participate with you and help you. And, and so what we said is, uh, you know, first we said, we're in stealth mode. We can't tell you it's a secret. <laughs> and, and then you kind of go, this is stupid. We're going to want to talk to these same customers a year from now. Right. Let's bring them in and uh, build the product together. And so we actually brought them in. And, you know, I talked about uh, Marty Sanders ran that first one and he, uh, he opened up a rack and it was empty. He said, this is our product. What do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you, <laughs> and uh, we got a lot of sighs and yawns in the audience, but uh, they hope they helped us fill up the rack. And okay. so we want to continue that. And, and I also kind of talked about the innovation that's kind of occurred in the last decade in storage. Uh, you know, you've been a storage veteran too, but uh, I think yeah. I've been in 25 years or, or a little more. I started when I was 12, but uh, they, um, <laughs> storage really, the innovation has been very, very uh, quick this last decade. And you know, we kind of talked about that, um, uh, I've kind of talked about, if you look at the innovation, it hasn't come from the big legacy vendors. It's come from the innovators that like Compellent and Equalogic. And I kind of did a little a joke I've learned in Texas that the uh, the legacy vendors kind of have big hats, but no cattle. You know, that's a... Um, <laughs> I'm uh, from it, Texas, you know. I, I'm insulting you now, right? So, <laughs> so that's kind of what we talked about. Yeah, now. okay, okay. So, you know, how, how are you going to continue that innovation then? Well, at, the biggest thing, like right here, we're starting, we got... Uh, we got breakout sessions with customers, getting the feedback, what we're doing. We're opening up kind of what we're going to do development-wise to see if that's the right stuff they want to see. Uh, we'll continue, like on Sunday, we had our partner advisory council, which is our kind of our key resellers, mm -hmm. and they were right there with us, giving us a lot of feedback on the integration of the two-channel programs. What are they telling and, you? Because uh, you, you, you were both pretty, uh, I mean, Equalogic and, and, and Compellent, very channel-friendly, yeah. right? Well, so, they, they gave us a lot of feedback on deal registration and conflicts yeah, yeah, and okay. how to work with the Dell sales Don't take it direct. And, and, uh, <laughs> you know, those, <laughs> yeah, work with us a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> but they, um, it's, I'll, I'm it's i really glad Equalogic was first because they broke the ground with Dell on the channel yeah. front. And uh, we've been able to kind of piggyback on that. And they've been, you know, things like, uh, you know, how we do deal registration. We, they've taken some of our program elements and incorporating the Dell ones. They've yeah. been, okay. they're, they're open more, more than just technology, what they're uh, taking from Compellent. So yeah. Copilot's another big one, they're, they're adopting that concept. Yeah, tell me about Copilot, because Copilot was, uh, you mentioned Copilot at the time of the, uh, either at the IPO or the acquisition, I oh, think it was absolutely. at the IPO you talked about yeah. Copilot. So, so tell me about Copilot. Well, so everyone has to have support. And uh, with Copilot, what we do is we try to take it to a whole new level and we named it different, because it is different. Uh, so we call it Copilot because we want that customer to know that when they call into our support line, 
that uh, that person is in the cockpit with them as opposed to a control tower where they're kind of ordering them around. They're in the cockpit, and if they don't land, they, they both don't land. Okay. So that's the concept. But it's uh, it incorporates a lot of software. We do a lot of real sophisticated call home, and then we use that data once we get that call home data to predict and prevent uh, problems for customers. And then uh, we have a you know, just the whole concept. We don't believe in callbacks. The person on the, the phone, the first person they talk to, is going to be very technical. Going to okay. answer questions. We encourage how to, you know, how do I do questions as opposed to I'm broke, and uh, you know the way you do it. And and then also we follow up. We help. You know, we call them when they don't have a problem, just to see how things are going. So it's okay. just a lot of things. But ultimately, it's people, and we okay. just got the best best people in the world actually working it. We're also going to try to incorporate thing. that in other products. Yeah. That's a good thing to focus on is the, is the people. Yeah. Let's talk about fluid data for a moment. Mm -hmm. I'd kind of like to hear your thoughts on that and where you think it is and where it's going. Yeah, it, what, what, what it uh, you, you hit you. it right in the nose there, which is it's got so much possibility. So it's uh, we're not done with it. But yeah. uh, those another one compelling did kind of coin the term fluid data, and it just kind of it described our whole product. You know, it described how we manage data, get the right data at the right, you know, uh, disk drive at the right time at the right price, and we do it automatically and very fluidly. I mean, it, it just described what we do. It described our support, it described our hardware architecture where they can, uh, you know, fluidly move with new technologies without having to start over or throw things away, so we have this persistent architecture. Okay. And then uh, when Dell acquired us, they started looking at their product portfolio, and they go, you know what, a lot of this fits in there. You know, uh, Equalogic doesn't have um, forklift upgrades either, it fit right in there. They manage data real fluidly and dynamically. They have the peer scaling, so it fit there also. Uh, it managed some of the, the things we're going to do with the, uh, you know, the fluid file system that they have. It just, I don't know, it, so I know you're, it describes what we do. You're, you're, you're running right now, you're running Equalogic, as, uh, so, so you're running Compellent as a separate sort of group within the service storage division is that right yeah we're working you know we're pretty key to Dell's future so it's a very integrated effort now compellent right now is you know in, in Minnesota they're investing in Minnesota will add hundreds of jobs up there already have okay. added hundreds that we're doing there um, the development team the, the compellent development team is working on the compellent product but there's also a portion of it that's working on integrating these other technologies mm -hmm. too like the scalable file system okay and the, that's from, you know, the X, the, from X and yep, and then yeah. the uh, you know uh, compression and deduplication technology the kind of on top of it so there's, um, it's separate, but it's pretty integrated, frankly, though, too, in the in the day-to-day -day efforts. Okay. So you don't really see, you know, Dell teaching Compellent or Compellent teaching Dell one way or the other. You really see your, yourselves as teams. It, 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 it really is that way. Um, I thought, you know, frankly, engineering would be one of the tougher ones to, yeah. you know, we got our way, you got your way. But that, that's actually <laughs> gone really smoothly. Good. They, they've met, they've kind of quickly... Uh, got respect. Uh, one thing was really good too that Dell, uh, Dell has a lot more technical talent than they might have had years ago. And so, that when these engineers see technically competent people to work with, they res they get respect and then they work yeah. together, and that that's happened. So yeah, engineers, it's not a, our way or their way. Right. But. Engineers usually get along pretty well. It's just the next level up is where the fights start. To, start to <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the fighter. The fighter. Well, I guess well, apparently not. Maybe, apparently huh? not. Yeah. Apparently you're getting along. Or you're playing well with others. Right. So that's good. Mom taught you well. That's a Catholic, that's your, Catholic yeah. school education, yeah. I guess. So. That's a Catholic school, and you were a teacher too, right? I was, I was a school teacher. Yeah. Math. Junior high math teacher, yeah. yeah. Way back wow. when, yeah. So. So why the move, and did that teach you anything coming from those roots? Uh, it taught me a lot, there. Yeah. Uh, how to handle injuries like handling junior high math. No, that's oh. not, that's, that's, that'd be bad. Don't don't put that one on. Those. That's too late, man. It's live. It's live. Okay. No, it, it uh, yeah, teaching does teach you a lot. How to be dynamic and fluid. You got to yeah. do that if you're a junior high math teacher. Definitely. And you know, it, it's a lot of it's presenting and being on your feet and being able yeah. to adjust. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good background. Uh, this has paid off well for you. This is your second storage company, yeah. this, right? This paid a little better than uh, school teaching did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The second one we did, uh, the three of us founded another company in '95. The same three. The same three. Uh, it was uh, uh, that that company? You know, we had the first SAN in the industry in 1995. Right. First virtual SAN. So right. I think we have a lot of innovation. A lot of tight. VMware integration, I think at the time. Uh, I th well, VMware know. really wasn't kind of yeah. going there. But, but how we virtualized up. all the physical drives yes, is yeah, really the, yeah. in, a lot of the innovation. And uh, yeah, VMware, Actually, you can't look not, at it. Was VMware has kind of done yeah. what we did the storage early on, and now yeah. you know, we're, we're expanding on that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good.
Well, we know we have to let you go because you have a very busy schedule. I really appreciate you oh, stopping you. by, and it was great to chat with you. Well, this is fun here. So who do you got next? Darren. Oh, we're going to talk, we're gonna, okay. we're gonna talk to your classmate, Darren. Okay. <laughs> see, see, see <laughs> we get along well together. Get now, along, right? Darren. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank well, you thank so you much, guys. Phil. Right. It's fun to have you guys here, and thanks for supporting. Thank, thanks oh, for coming. All right. Thanks. Good to see you. Take care.